We're Luke and Ellie, and we've been looking for the perfect off-grid property, but we've hit a snag. It's just, there's just nothing left. In our last video, we found what may be the perfect spot. I think it's up there. And we just might finally have some good news to share in this episode. I'm gonna film today's episode all on the GoPro because I don't feel like dragging a big camera around. And our drone is currently being fixed because someone hey. who's, shall not be named. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm new at this. <laughs> I'm kidding. You might have seen some of our earlier videos where we've talked about the struggle. Fine property. If you haven't seen them, I will throw them up here and here. Let's be honest, you haven't seen them. You might have seen us check this one out a few weeks ago. And we're here to tell you. Do you want to tell the good news? Well, it's not necessarily good news yet, but <laughs> we did make an offer on this. Whatever we shall call. <laughs> chose this property because it was the only one left well routinely we've been looking north of us this is not north this is quite a ways south it wasn't what we initially wanted but <laughs> turns out to maybe be a blessing in disguise this area is much more sparsely populated less congested fewer people obviously all the amenities of the great outdoors we were looking for. It's, it's way more remote out here, way more off grid. I mean, the power lines stop like two miles that way. I don't think we're gonna be bringing in power anytime soon. There is a private parcel to the north of us. We share a border and then there's two homes, maybe three further south, probably about a couple miles that direction. But other than that, we're 100% surrounded by timber actually thousands and thousands of acres of timber that then connect to state land that then connect to federal land and Sky's so on and just yeah it's endless which i've always said i would much rather have logging trucks for neighbors <laughs> than actual neighbors it's true we're in the middle of the boonies out here kind of what we were going for we're okay with that you know the downside obviously is we're in the middle of the really boonies. nothing like <laughs> All right, so as soon as we saw the place, we immediately drove to cell service, called the listing agent to see if it was still available. We were fully expecting it not to be, but this time it was. So uh, I think we made an offer, I think the next day, and it was accepted, I think, within 15 minutes. Just basically as long as it took for the paperwork to get to him across the country and back. So that's a little nerve wracking. That, it was, that doesn't happen. It was relieving, but also <laughs> a little bit unnerving because why is this guy so anxious to sell this property? Well, it turns out he's never even seen the property. He bought it, I think, just because it was probably cheap when he bought it. And now he wants it gone. So now it's gone, hopefully. Now it's our problem. Uh, we do have to find out if we can legally access it, though. The road out here is a little confusing if you look at any online map it shows a county road pretty much to this property right through this property but then if you look at another map it shows that county road ends and this turns into a completely different road that is probably a private road so we got to get that sorted out um, if it is a private road we just need to find out if there's an easement to it 
or through it. If it's county road, should be good to go, but there is some confusion there. And we'll, we'll, we'll have the answer when the title paperwork comes back. Just to make sure everything is, well, there's no surprises. Yeah. We don't want to make, you... we don't want to make an offer, have it accepted, and then have to back out because that's a real shitty thing to do. Because you need access to your property. Exactly. But if you can't drive to it, then you're SOL. Sorry, we're going to be that asshole and we're going to back out, but we're pretty confident. Yep. Can we just drop Murphy off here? It's really like this is your new home. I think that's. So there you have it. We made an offer on this secluded lot. As long as there's no surprises, you are watching the two newest owners of a little slice of paradise in northern Idaho. Now the real work begins. We've been waiting for this moment for years. We'd love it if you'd follow along on our journey by subscribing to the channel. This changes everything.